If you want to appear more confident in real life, in auditions, in interviews, or if you're playing a confident character in a scene, then stick around because in this... Stick around because... Stick around because this video breaks down the notion of appearing confident into five easy approaches. So even the most introverted, terrified per- <sighs> Hello everyone, welcome to another video. We'll be discussing confident body language. Initiating eye contact. Eye contact generally, the do's and don'ts. Controlling emotions and controlling the flow of conversation. The idea is that you can apply these techniques to real life as well as on stage and on screen. Now, I can't tell you how to be confident. That's just something you'll have to find in yourself. Do some soul searching. But I am an actor and I can tell you how to act confident. And a lot of the time confident people are just acting confident. They're just putting on a facade for someone else to see. It doesn't mean that they are confident or even believe in themselves. As long as they look confident, people will see them as confident. So the body language, what do confident people do? Well, they often stand tall with their muscles relaxed. You never see a confident person shrugging over with tense muscles looking stressed. They are relaxed and open and smiley and happy and just calm. In other words, their body is physically open. We can call this expansion, expansion, expand and relax. Which you can compare with contraction in a less confident character, someone who shrugs and tenses their muscles. Confident people, don't fidget. None of that. Their physical movement is controlled. They don't rush their actions. They know where they're going with every action. Controlled, direct, not rushed. They speak clearly and deliberately. There's no ums, ahs, all that stuff. Um, and they don't stumble on their words. So, confident behaviour is about initiating contact. Confident people are not afraid to initiate contact. They will make the first move. Whether this contact be eye contact, or verbal contact, or physical contact... I don't know about that one. But usually they'll speak first, they'll have good eye contact. Let's think about this in another way. Confident people are non-reactive in social interaction. But this means that they drive the interaction with others, they don't react to it. They're not reacting to other people. Other people are usually the ones reacting to them. Confident people have direct eye line. This doesn't mean keep your eyes unfalteringly still and stare. The eyes move naturally like you are human. Confident characters tend to make unfaltering eye contact and it doesn't mean that they stare intensely, it's just relaxed. They make eye contact, they're not scared, it's direct. Overall, they are physically steady. Relaxed, calm, steady. If you focus too hard on keeping still eyes, you end up looking like you're staring menacingly and you don't want that. Or you could look frightened, that's usually a, a look of fear, you don't want that. Someone whose eyes dart about does not appear confident or sure of themselves. They look self-conscious and unsure and like they're constantly judging themselves. I've noticed this when I've been in films and I've watched myself. I am the least confident person and it shows in the eyes when those eyes move around. Even when I'm playing a confident character, it slips up sometimes. My point is steady, calm eye contact. Especially in interviews. <laughs> Don't fidget in interviews either, because I like, once put my hands on the table and straight away that's all they looked at. This doesn't mean close yourself off and stop yourself from moving. You just be natural, move if you want, have your gestures that make you you. People who are confident make gestures all the time. I'm not saying that and that's not necessarily fidgeting. Fidgeting is more nervously messing around with something. Anyway, back to the eye contact. Eye contact must be direct, relaxed, not forced, good focus, and it must look natural. Ideally, you want to be inviting to the other person, or you want to encourage them to like you, but not in a way that looks like you're desperate, because that is the opposite of confidence. Controlling emotions. Only we could. Confident people seem calmer than less confident people. They seem calm even when they're not calm. This is because confident people don't tend to lose control when they encounter emotions such as adrenaline, rage, fear, emotions that might otherwise make you lose control. These emotions don't take over a confident person like they would do a less confident person. It depends how confident you want to appear if it's 24-7. If you're having a public debate, for instance, and you don't want to look bothered by something that's got you angry, don't look bothered. 
look calm always. It's the same in acting, when you play a confident character they wouldn't usually lose control of their emotions, they would keep them in check. Even if they're like majorly off by something, they usually would be like, well, we'll see about that or something. Everything is very controlled, even though underneath the surface they might be raging with anger or fear. Pay attention when you're next watching a drama and someone is a confident person. The moment they lose control of their emotions is the moment they look less confident. Now, a confident person is usually the one controlling the flow of conversation. This means be non-reactive, which means attack, not literally, obviously, but control that flow of energy. Basically, don't be reactive. That is, don't have defensive body language. Don't be the one reacting to what's going on. Be the one controlling that conversation, setting the tone. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be the topic. It doesn't mean you have to bring up the topic. It's just in your mannerisms and your energy and your body language and your whole being. You are the one who is being reacted to. You are worthy of attention and respect. And you have lots of knowledge that is worthy of being bestowed upon the masses. And I don't mean this in a big, regal, arrogant way. It's a very subtle thing. But if you think about energy and conversation and conversation between people being like an equilibrium reaction, the person with the most confidence is the one sort of acting as a catalyst or something. Just please tell me you know what I mean. You jump on all cues usually when you're confident. That means you don't pause between every line like there's a bad connection. You know what you want to say and you're going to say it and it doesn't have to be an aggressive, horrible, bad thing. You can be nice and pleasant and friendly and very approachable and kind and genuinely kind. It's just you're not scared to say something and that doesn't mean you have to say everything that's in your head either. You don't have to suddenly be a dick if you're confident. It's just you will speak without pausing between lines, you will jump on all cues. Basically a confident person sets the tone of the conversation, not necessarily the topic, although yes sometimes, always, maybe, I don't know, that can happen too. Everything a confident person says is targeted to the other person in the interaction. They know what they're going to say, they're saying it to that person, they're not dithering around distracted, talking to that person. There's no reactivity, usually, and pausing, unless it's a deliberate pause. Pause used with confidence to make a point. I'm not saying never pause and rush things because then you can look nervous and anxious. Don't want to look like me. So yeah, if you want to appear confident, don't act like me. Listen to my words and not my actions. 